Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've put up a video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this Cassie scarf. Here they show it in red. And it actually makes quite a beautiful stitch. Um, it's nice and open and airy and flowy and yet it's got enough coverage to keep you warm. And it's been designed by Rebecca Jackson in the UK. And uh, you can tell here it says easy level and they have the finished dimensions here as well as the yarn that they're using but instead of the yarn that they've used here I'm going to be using my go-to which is always the I love this yarn yarn and um, this one is in the color ivory and it's also a four ply yarn so it's going to be a little heavier but it's still going to have that open airy feel to the scarf and on top of that we are going to be using a different hook here it calls for a four millimeter size g but i am going to be using my uh, size h five millimeter which is basically my go-to for so many projects that i make so anyway you guys can go ahead and choose between the g or the h and you'll need your tapestry needle and here it gives you the gauge um, if you're someone who keeps track of gauges, I don't tap typically do that, but you know, there it is for you if you need it. And on the back here, we have the directions. So we're going to go ahead and start out by chaining 60. And here you can see that I have 60 chains and then we're going to start row one. So it says to make three double crochets into the eighth chain from the hook. Okay, so three double crochets into the eighth chain. So what we do is we count the first space right below where the hook is, right here. And then we're gonna count eight spaces over. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now in that space right there, where you can see, that is gonna get three double crochets. So there's one, two and three and this is what the three double crochets look like in case you're new at this and you're just following along now and then next we need to chain two so now we're going to do one and two and go back to the instructions Next, we are going to do three double crochets into the same chain as previous three double crochets. So that means that we're going to make three more double crochets in the same space right here where we have the other three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Now you're going to have this fan-like effect, uh, shell-like effect. And then next we are going to chain one. So let's go ahead and do that now. There's a chain one here. Then we are going to skip three chains and then we're going to do one double crochet into the next chain so we're skipping the next three spaces one two three and then that fourth space right there we're going to make one double crochet in that space and then next we are going to begin where this asterisk is right here where it says to chain one and this asterisk gives you a guide as to where we're going to continue the row so you'll see here as follow my finger right there is another asterisk so between these two asterisks this is the entire part of the pattern of the row so we're going to go ahead and follow just between those two asterisks for the rest of the row. So now we got the chain one that it just told us to do. And now we're going to skip three chains. 
and then we're going to th make three double crochets into the next chain after that. So once again, this is what you're doing. We're doing this all over again. We're going to make the three and then the chain two and then the three double crochets again into this one, two, three, fourth space. And make sure to, to uh, count over to the fourth and then make your three double crochets. Two, and three. And then going back to the pattern, we're going to chain two like we did that last time. And then we're going to make three double crochets into the same chain space as the three previous three double crochets. Two and three. So now we have another fan or shell type stitch going on. All right. So next, like I said, we're just going to follow along in here within the asterisk. So once we chain that one, we're going to skip three spaces again. One, two, three. And in that fourth space, we're going to make one double crochet. And after the one double crochet, you're going to chain one. Okay. And now, continue on with the same pattern, we're going to skip three spaces again. We have one, two, three, and in the fourth space, we're going to make three double crochets. Two, three, and then as it calls for, we also need to chain two space. I'm sorry, make two chains. And then we're going to make the three double crochets again in that same space where the other three are at. And again, this makes your shell or like fan stitch. So this is going to be the pattern throughout. You're going to have all of these bumpy ridges um, that are created by the shell type stitches. Now we're going to skip the three and in that fourth space, we're going to make one double crochet. And remember, after the last three doubles, we're making we're doing a chain one. And then after the one double crochet, we also chain one. So now we're back at the shell. It's a third one there. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to make three more double crochets in that space. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to skip three spaces. And in the fourth space, we're going to make one double crochet. One, two, three, four. There's your fourth space. Go ahead and make one double crochet there. And then chain one when you finish. And then we're going to skip three spaces. And in the fourth space, we're going to do that whole shell stitch over again three double crochets in the one space, two, three, and then we need to chain two, and now we need to make the final three double crochets in that space. Okay. And then when we get done with the third double crochet, I just love when we lose the yarn off our hooks like that. <laughs> so once we get done with that, then we're going to have to chain the one. So here's what the pattern basically looks like. You're going to have all these beautiful ridges and then you're going to have the single, or I'm sorry, the double crochet in the middle and then, you know, a shell stitch and then double crochet. So that's how it's going to look throughout the entire first row. So now we have to chain one. And then we skip three more spaces again. And we make 
one double crochet in the fourth space over. When we finish that, we're going to chain one. Skip three in the fourth space, make three double crochets. And if you haven't done it yet, if you want to have the written instructions to follow along with, go ahead and screenshot what I've shown you on here and uh, you'll have it to reference. So you should have another shell, basic shell stitch type thing made here. And then once that's done, you're going to chain one. And then we skip three again. And in the fourth space, we do one double crochet. And then we chain one. Skip three in the fourth space. We're going to make three double crochets. And now we're going to chain two and then make three double crochets in that space again. And then don't forget to chain one when you're done. So here we're going to skip three and in the very last one right here, we're going to make one double crochet. And that is because the one double crochet is going to create an edge, a nice straight edge for your scarf. So here I just did the um, chain one and now we're going to work that last double crochet into that last space. Okay. And now we have row one completed and we're going to go ahead and go into row two. All right, so row two says we are going to chain four and that chain four is going to count as one double crochet plus one chain and then we're going to turn. So go ahead and chain four kind of loosely. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go ahead and turn our work. And now we're ready to work row two along row one. So as I said before, if you're new to crocheting and you found this video and maybe you've been doing it for a little bit and you kind of understand the steps, this will be a nice easy pattern for you to follow along with. All right, so let's get into this. We're going to skip one chain and make three double crochets. Uh, then three double crochets into the first uh, chain two space. So basically what we're going to do here is we've already got the chain. We're going to skip all these over here and right into that chain two space here. We're going to make right there. We're going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. And as the previous row, we're going to do the same thing, making these fan like stitches, right? So once we get the three double crochets made, we're going to chain two. Sorry, I'm, my, my finger had to find the space here that we're at on the pattern. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and chain two and then three more double crochets into that space. So let's go ahead and follow the pattern here as it's written. And as I said, if you need to screenshot the pattern so you have it, go for it. All right, so don't you love it when your yarn gets caught on your rings? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make those next three double crochets. And then we have to remember, what do we do after the three? The last three, we always chain one. And then there's a double asterisk. Now, again, we're going to be working from double asterisk to double asterisk. So in between those two, that's the pattern for row two. So now we have to chain the one. Then we're going to skip over to the top of the double crochet that we made in the previous row. 
in that space above, we're going to make one double crochet. So basically what's happening is we're mirroring, we are mirroring uh, row one. So we're working the shells on top of the shells. We're working the one double crochet on top of the one double crochet. So now we're going to go ahead and skip over to the space with a two chain space. We're going to make the three double crochets and then we're going to chain two and then uh, continue on with the other three double crochets. So that's basically it. That's what you're going to do for the rest of the row. All right, so where am I here? I am finishing up the three double crochets at the end of this shell. And then at the end of that, we always chain the one. And then we're going to go ahead and work inside or on top of this uh, double crochet from the row previous. So one double crochet here. When we finish the double crochet, we chain one. And then we're going to work the next three, two, three right in here in this next space. Two, three, chain two, and then three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is what you have so far. And as I said, it makes a really nice scarf. This is a, a beautiful stitch. It's, um, it's uh, nice and airy. As you can see here, we're doing, like I said, we're mirroring, mirroring I can't say that word. <laughs> we're mirroring the pattern itself. So like the shells are on top of the shells, the double crochets are on top of the double crochets. So that's going to be your basic pattern. Here we are making the double crochet and the chain one and then working our three two three into this next space here okay the three are made chain two and then make three more I know that probably a lot of you already have this down and don't need to follow along with my voice anymore, which is fine, but there will be people here that might need some extra guidance. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue on talking and, you know, guiding you through the process um, for people who are in need of hearing what's going on rather than just watching what's going on. Um, and if you get stuck, you know, you can always back up the video, go back, look at it. And, um, you know, like I said, you're going to have the uh, written instructions as well. So that's going to probably be a big help to a lot of you guys. So here I am making another shell type stitch with the three, two, three. Actually, I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> I did do something wrong here. I, I think I yarned over double or something, but anyway, continuing on with this three, two, three, and uh, then a chain two, and then three more double crochets. And if any of you guys are super new to this channel, this is maybe the first video you're seeing of mine, um, I start out at the very beginning um, of my channel teaching very beginners crochet. So if you are stuck on anything, oh, I don't know what a, a single crochet is. I don't know what a double crochet is. How do, am I supposed to make this? You can go back and look at those videos prior and get a good idea of what's going on that way. And then come back to this video later or to any of the other videos where I do projects and you'll have a, a much better idea of what's going on. So I invite you guys to check out some of the other videos as well. I've got hat videos on here and um, I don't think that I'm going to make a hat video using this stitch because it's a little bit too open of a stitch. I don't think that it would really do anything to keep your head warm, although it could be a really cute slouchy hat. Um, so I don't know. I mean, maybe in the future I could do that, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to make the scarf. And um, 
hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. If you do like this video today, I ask you guys to give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy crochet content, especially teachers on crocheting, um, people on here that actually show you step by step, um, you know, hit the subscribe button and then you'll see the rest of the videos that are coming. I took a bit of a height a bit of a hiatus you know my tongue just keeps getting wrapped around my teeth today I don't know what's going on um anyway so I took a little bit of a break because I was working on my other channel and so this has had to kind of take a back seat but um you know I'm back and I think that really this kind of stuff is better for fall and winter and spring anyway so that's why you're seeing me bringing scarves again and uh, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to the new videos as well so here in the video you can see that we're at the end so what we're going to do is we're going to find that very first see that you have that one there okay you're going to go ahead and make a double crochet in there and that double crochet again that's going to create your edge and then you're going to chain four and then you're going to turn your work okay so here i'm just showing you the basic look of it um, and as I said, you're going to turn the work. Your chain four is your, uh, counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So anyway, this is the one that I've been working on and, um, it's actually, I, I, I can't wait to finish it because it's going to be really nice, but here I'm going to go ahead and sh I'm going to go ahead and do the chain four because I didn't do that yet for the next row and uh, I'll just work another row with you guys so just like in row two it's the same thing right it's this exact same thing you're just gonna work into the spaces provided so the three double crochets the two chains and the three double crochets are gonna be done in that chain two space and I'm not sure the color I'm using here um, I don't have the the little uh, leaflet thing that comes that covers the yarn I don't have it with me right now I think I probably tossed it in the trash but anyway it is a very very pretty green color and I've been using this color for other projects as well and I've got a blanket in the works that I'm knitting right now with this color so I'm kind of excited to get it done so just go ahead and continue on your rows exactly like this and then we're going to go ahead and get into the pattern where it talks about how many rows to make and all that good stuff. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and continue this on your own. And as I said before, if you need to back it up and go back and look at the video, or if you need to consult the directions in written form, you already got those things. So go ahead and work on this and I'll be back. Okay, so this is basically what the scarf looks like and I showed you a picture of it at the beginning of the video and it's really pretty. Um, I love the color red that they used on here. Then the yarn that they used, it kind of has this fuzzy effect to it, which I'm sure makes it even prettier. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is look down here because this is where it tells us how many rows we have to make. And this is going to be a little bit different. It says uh, to fasten off at the end of row 64. And then you're going to rejoin the yarn at the start of the foundation chain and work row one into the back of each chain. Um, now this is what it calls for in the in the basic directions, but you could also just continue the scarf for as long as you want it and then just, you know, cut it, uh, knot it, weave in your ends, and then you'd be able to also just keep it that way. You don't have to actually go this route if you don't want to, if it's too hard to understand what to do. Um, and just make it as long as you want. You can uh, sew the ends together and make a, an infinity scarf out of it. It's up to you. But you have the basic gist of how to make this look. And uh, I think that's probably the most important thing. If you're trying to follow her directions, I would then I would do exactly what she says because it's going to allow both ends of your scarf to look identical. If you don't, then the one side of the scarf is going to look a little different than the other side. So anyway, here are the instructions for what to do. You're just going to go back up and follow rows one and two throughout the whole thing. 
um, and then you know that's when you would go ahead and count how many rows you've got once you get to 64 then you would follow along with the fasten off directions but again like I said it's up to you so go ahead and decide what you want to do with that and I'm going to show you here a clip of myself working on the other scarf that I just showed you in green so anyway guys I just want to say thank you for stopping by today and watching this video if you like the content as I said before please make sure that you hit that subscribe button below and if you like this video today go ahead and hit the like button for me it helps me with the youtube algorithm and helps my channel grow and i'm so excited for what this channel has in store for you guys and um, anyway i'm going to go ahead and do this little crochet along with me part of the video i'm actually at work here in the video and um, my client loves it when i sit there and crochet and knit and stuff like that so it makes a lot of uh, good conversation material <laughs> anyway, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Until then.